Okay. I'm gonna make this camera obscure video. <clears throat> so this video is just about uh, making a camera obscura. I first made a camera obscura when I was in college. Um, somehow I found out about it, I don't know, but it was so cool and weird and, or captivating, I didn't understand how it worked. It seemed so simple, yet like it couldn't be possibly this simple. Um, but it is. <laughs> so I built one in college with a friend of mine named Jacob Carter. And then um, that one worked pretty well. And then I, with some people in Grand Rapids, Michigan, we built another one for Art Prize. And that one worked really well. Sadly, I didn't really get to see the <laughs> end results of it because I had to leave at the time. Um, but then I tried to make one more in Lebanon. That one didn't work out, so I ran out of time and I left. But I want to make one here in Korea as well. <laughs> So if anybody wants to make one with me, uh, let me know and let uh, me know. Or yeah, we also need to know where we could put it. Um, a portable one would be awesome. But um, yeah, just looking for someone to build this with. Anyways, I'm going to show you how it works right now, just with this basic room. But what is it first? I should explain that really quick. I'm just going to go off Wikipedia here. Um, well, it's also referred to as a pinhole camera. Um, but it's basically a natural optical phenomenon that occurs when an image of a scene at the other side of a screen, for instance a wall, is projected through a small hole in that screen as a reversed and inverted image, left to right and upside down, on a surface opposite the opening. Um, the surroundings of the projected image have to be relatively dark for the image to be clear, so ma mainly historical camera obscure experiments were performed in dark rooms. Um, Basically, people used to use this to paint images, like realistic images. Because, and you just go inside a dark, somehow they did it, I don't know exactly how, but that's what I read. Anyways, that's what it is, it's so easy to do, you just need a big room, control the light, a small hole, it's gonna project on the, what's on the outside to the inside. So I'm just gonna build it now and show you, just, <laughs> there's no better way to do it. So here we go. So I'm gonna do it in this room. Basically, I'm gonna cover this window. This is the one light source. Put this black plastic on top of this window. Totally cover it so there's no light coming in at all. Completely dark in here. And then over here. And then this door, I'm gonna close and also seal up the crack so no light comes in there. It takes a little bit for your eyes to adjust but otherwise you'll see an image. And with a camera, you can either do a time-lapse or hopefully the ISO. If we bump it up enough, we can just film it. But I'm gonna build it now. Here we go. Can turn the light on. Actually, I might turn it off to see where the light's coming through still. the window there's still a little bit of light coming through the, the bottom in some areas um, I'm gonna poke a hole now where I want the light to come through probably should do it in the middle but I'm gonna do it on the side so basically how this works is it's just like an aperture so the bigger the hole the more light that's gonna come in but um, it won't be as sharp. And then the smaller the hole, less light comes in, but it's gonna be sharper, um, like more in focus. So we'll make a bigger hole and then we can always put more plastic on top and make it smaller if we need to. Probably about as big as your finger is good. 
Sorry, this sucks at filming, man. That was weird. That's the hole. So basically everything that the sun is touching off outside or reflecting off of, that light is gonna bounce off through this hole. And this, actually I don't really know how it works. <laughs> basically it's bouncing off going through here. We're gonna see an image in here. It's how a camera works. We experience it every day in our life actually, probably. So here we go. Let's try this out. We're gonna turn the lights off. Here we go. All right, that's, that's it. Camera obscure, let me know what you thought about this. If anyone wants to make one of these with me in Korea now, let me know, I'm totally down. Um, ideas could be uh, renting or buying a container and then putting in like soul soup or something like that, or some other location where lots of people are walking down. It looks, it looks so cool when there's like people walking around and stuff. Um, why do it? Just because it's cool. It's so interesting. I feel like it's such a fun experience to be when you come inside one of these things and see how light works, how a camera works, um, just the fact that this phenomenon hap can happen in life. It's so cool. Really, really, I don't know. Good publicity if anyone's like wants to just be a part of it. A lot of people would come and check it out. It's just a cool thing. All right, that's it. That's the end of the video. Cohen's checking it out quick. You're so checking it out. Well, I'm gonna check it out. She's gonna go outside and we can see if we can see her. I can't see anything. Okay, let's see her. It's over here. Uh, you have to go like near the floor of the balcony. Where? The floor of the balcony. The oh, floor? so I see your hands. Yeah, squat down. Yeah, I see you. Here? Yeah. Try and lean back a bit. Or lay down, <laughs> kind of. Lay down? Yeah. Were you like in between the suitcases? That's good. Now tilt your head straight up. Yeah. I can see you. Uh, lean, lean back like on your arms. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell if it's in focus or not. Wait one sec. Okay, lean your head against the the suitcase. Suitcase? Is there any sunlight that can bounce off your face? Oh, that's perfect, yeah. Oh, I can see you. Wave. <laughs> okay, that's cool.